Well, we want to delve deeper into this uh, issue of Jumia as well as uh, what's happening in the online business space. And I'm right now joined by Rama Madiba, who is a tech expert and also a telecommunications engineer. Yes. Thank you for making time for us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Abby. Perhaps uh, looking at uh, Jumia, we did see before Jumia went the route it's going, mm -hmm. there was also OLX, yes. which also had a difficult um, business readjustment in the Kenyan space. Perhaps from where you sit yeah. as a tech mind, what would you make of this? What are the trends we should expect? Uh, maybe the, uh, the first thing is uh, tech is just a platform, but business is a thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you look at what happened with, uh, with, uh, with Jumia, uh, for example, is it just shows us the, the problem that we face in Africa is still part of uh, logistics. Uh, because one, one of the reasons why I think Jumia would have shut down in, 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 in the other countries is because how difficult it, it is to address, uh, to, to, you know, to deliver. Mm -hmm. so that, and, and you see even the, the story that we just ran a few, a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. why uh, the physical address is a, is a big problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that's one of, one of the reasons why. All right. Yeah. And uh, the, the big question right now is, uh, do people still shop in stores? with? A lot of technology allowing people to be able to uh, access uh, various uh, goods and services online. Yeah, people still uh, actually uh, less than one percent shop online, and in more than ninety nine percent still shop on the ground. And think about it this way, Abby. Um, in a in a typical Kenyan scenario, someone would would want to bargain. Before someone buys something, they, they will go, they do some window shopping, they bargain, and, and, then, and then you see them telling someone, okay, I'll come back later. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, that is part of the decision making to, to bargain. So people still have the tendency to still want that human feel, to still want to feel that I can bargain, to still want to feel that, you know, there is that trust. I, if, if I'm buying a phone, I can be able to see it, to touch it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's still a behavioral change that the, in, in, in that we still have a long way to go. Okay. Yeah, and, and basically, reason being trust. There is still they, they, there is still a lot of mistrust mm -hmm. in, in in the Kenyan and in the African context mm -hmm. to to online businesses. So from where you sit, um, there's something interesting that uh, the businesses of today must be alive to. That is design thinking. Yes. Just walk us through this, and uh, how would Jumia avoid such a situation? Yeah, so, so design thinking basically is uh, putting yourself in the shoes of the customer. Think about this person who wants to buy, say, a fridge. W what would you do? What would make him buy the fridge? Then you walk through that journey and, and you innovate. So what, what Jumia would have done and, and, and he still needs to do is to still walk that journey and understand the customer uh, clearly. And, and uh, not just try and uh, in replicate uh, Alibaba mm -hmm. and replicate Amazon. Why? Uh, why? Why would Alibaba, for example, be successful? Because China is a country that manufactures and exports. Mm -hmm. And therefore, time, and, and, and to put it in context, if I wanted to import something from China and I have a lead time of 60 days, even if it takes an extra 15 days, the world will, it will not be the end of the world. But think about it this way. I want to buy a phone. I can't afford to, I can't afford to, to waste time. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want a phone today, I will walk in and buy, and buy the phone. So uh, these, these are different use case scenarios. And I think uh, in Jumia still has a long way to, to, uh, to, to map the customer journey and understand what, what, what are the, uh, the needs of the, of the customer. Mm -hmm. Um, but then they have done a good thing also, uh, on the bright side of things, is, is they have collection points. You see, we have Jumia collection points where they come to someone's shop, mm -hmm. then they say, okay, you know, maybe give us this place as a, as a physical address where people can ca still come and, and, pick, uh, and pick items. Because it was very difficult, to, to, it, was, it was proving to be a challenge to drop it in my house mm -hmm. or in my office. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, they, have, they have gone back to have a physical drop-off point, which is still almost like I have gone to the shop yeah. and, and picked it physically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but I, I, would, I would encourage even not just Jumia, but all other uh, entrepreneurs, uh, tech startups, to, to, to use design thinking, human-centered design, to put the user at the center 
of the innovation that we're doing. So that at times, the challenge we have as engineers or as tech people is to imagine that the platform, that the tech platform that we are building is the business. That is completely not the business. It's just okay. an enabler. All right. And uh, Rama, just as we wrap up, uh, of course, uh, looking at uh, the e-commerce mm -hmm. yes. in Africa, mm -hmm. we are seeing uh, more and more countries are really keen on moving into that platform. And this is simply because of um, the disruption that technology has brought with it, mm -hmm. where if you're not available on the e-commerce platforms, over and above the risks that mm -hmm. includes hacking, impersonation, um, we are still seeing uh, there's that uh, shift towards having organizations selling their wares, their services using the e-commerce platform. From your experience and from your interactions, um, how would you classify how Africa is performing, and Kenya to be precise, when it comes to e-commerce? Yeah, so, so I think and uh, Kenya definitely uh, is, is, is a leader, uh, especially in East, in East and Central Africa, uh, with, with regards to e-commerce. That's why even Jumia set up shop here before it went out there and has to come back and has to come back to Kenya. But of course, uh, the, the element of trust is something that we still need to understand. We, sti we still need to, to nail and unpack the issue of trust mm -hmm. because that is just one thing that is still missing. People are still, people are used to, you, you know, I meet this person and we negotiate, we bargain, uh, and then I get the best deal. So things that people ask themselves is, uh, is this the best deal I can get? Okay. Yeah, so trust is something that e-commerce uh, is still a challenge to e-commerce in Africa All right. and, and Kenya to be specific. Thank you so much, Rama. Yes. I appreciate your insights. Thank you very much, Abby. I'm looking forward to 